Hello, grade two. Let's start with the hello song. Hello, hello, hello. hello. I'm glad you're here today. Hello, hello, hello. hello. I'm glad you're here today. Supplies, we need paper and something to write with. What is the essential question? How can I know where notes go on the musical staff? Well, we're going to talk about a little bit of review of the high and the low, and then we're going to talk about where the notes go on the musical staff. Okay, we're going to do a quick review of high and low on the musical staff. So get your pencil out and draw your five lines. One, two, three, four, five. Put some lines over here. Draw a treble clef. All right, remember, what is high in the sky? Well, how about the sun? Draw a sun up high on the musical staff. And the moon. Draw a moon high on the musical staff. And there's some ideas. Birds. Let's draw a bird. Oh, wish me luck. I'm not very good with birds. Let's try a pink bird. Does that look like a bird? I think that looks like a bird. All right, and then get a new piece of paper or use the same piece of paper just lower on the page. Oops, let's go back to black. We have five lines and a bass clef. Got big. Remember how it looked like a C, but it's a little bit longer of an arm there. So we're going to put things that are lower, like what's on the bass clef. So we have a worm. It's a happy worm. That's a smile. We have fish, which are even lower than a worm. It's in the water. Okay. We have flowers. The green middle. What else can we do that's low to the ground? Hmm. I heard some of you say alligators. You're probably right. There are probably alligators that are lower to the ground. Let's draw a purple alligator. Ooh, how do you draw an alligator? Ah, uh, gosh, his tail. There's his face. Is that an alligator? That's my alligator. What does your alligator look like? Hmm. So remember that the treble clef means high and the bass clef means low. <laughs> All right, so now for a new piece of paper, we're going to draw the treble clef part of the staff. And we're going to do it in black. Remember, five lines. One, two, three, four, five. What we're going to do is we're going to draw all of the notes. Start with this note right here. Can you draw that? And then just keep on going up the musical staff all the way up to here. Now if you need to keep going, you can pause me and then come right back, okay? Now we're going to put the notes in or below the notes. So the name of the notes below the notes. So we have E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E again, and F again. Remember the musical alphabet after G. We go back to A again, so E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. 
There you go. So now what if I removed a note? Say I removed that. What is that note? E, F, think about the musical alphabet, E, F, G. Very good, so G. Now I want you to take, if you have a red crayon, great. If not, use what you're using for a pen. And we're going to take the second line right here and we're going to draw a red line over that second line. Why did we do that? Because this treble clef right here is also called a G clef. And look how it circles the G. So if you take this right here, see that? See how it circles the G? There's G right there. There is your G note. Pretty cool, huh? All right, now for another spot on your paper or a new piece of paper. And we're going to draw the bass clef. One, two, three, four, five. Oof, there we go. And we're going to draw the notes on the bass clef staff. We have G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Okay, so let's put those notes below. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Now if you have a red pencil or crayon, what I want you to do is the fourth line, one, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four, five. There are your lines. Take the fourth line, draw over the fourth line. Now why did we do that? The bass clef used to be called the F clef. Well, look at that. See how we circle F over here? Oh my goodness, there's F on the F line. Check that out. Whoa, F is right there. Pretty cool. Now what if I erased a note? So say I erased this note. Oop, let's do black. You can't read this. What is that note? You have no idea what that says, right? Okay. G A B D. Well, I went line to line and I skipped the space note. What note did I skip? C. There's your C right there. Okay, so in the quiz that you're going to have, there are going to be lines as to what notes are missing in the musical alphabet. Do you see how you figure it out? Cool. Okay, you've been working really hard. Let's have a video about treble clefts.
everything we have today. We will see each other hopefully soon. You'll see me again next week. Bye.